Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty Grand Motor today for part 67 for the Grand Prix here in Imola, round 3 of the season, coming off the back of the Australian Grand Prix. This is the grid though ahead of the race and it's the all Mercedes front row, the first of the season, headed by Lewis Hamilton, VRP3 alongside our former teammate Oscar Piastri, then it's Sainz and Lando Norris, Bottas and Esteban Ocon, Verstappen and Leclerc round out the top 10, then it's Pacher and Yuki Tsunoda, Lance Stroll and Joe Guan Yu, then it's the two Alpha Tauris headed by Liam Lawson and it's Gasly and Fittipaldi, Albon and Logan Sargent and on the final row of the grid is Nick De Vries and Kevin Magnussen. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the race starting inside the top three for the first time this season looking for our first win of the season as well. It's been quite full poor so far. P7 in Bahrain, P4 last time out in Australia. So we're looking to at least get our first podium of the season today hopefully but you can see our qualifying lap there it was a fairly decent lap but just not good enough for the front row we're going to be doing a one stopper starting on the softs going to the mediums as it always seems to be but now though it's time for the five red lights and the Grand Prix in the and we are racing the two Mercedes on mediums they've got a good start as we're going to go to the inside of Lewis Hamilton. He's really squeezing us down into turn one. We have to back out of it. George Russell has taken the lead off his teammate in the opening corner. And now we're all over the back of Lewis Hamilton whilst we look more in our mirrors because Oscar Piastri is there. He's having a great start to the season, picking up two podiums in the opening two races. As we come towards the end of lap one, we're going to break a bit later. We're right on the back of Lewis Hamilton now. Can we get the exit off the corner? We're nearly side by side with Lewis Hamilton. Are we close enough to go down the inside into the penalty but corner? No, we're not. We're going to have to wait for the straight as now we come out of the final corner. No DRS yet though. We are going to get closer and closer with Lewis Hamilton wants the lead back off George Russell, his teammate is going to the outside is he brave enough to keep it pinned around the outside? yes he is and we were, we had the popcorn, we were loving this fight and whilst we were looking at that we've been caught sleeping by Oscar Piastri and we've dropped back to P4 back off the podium, we battled for the podium last time out with Oscar Piastri he beat us that day and he's got us now Absolute sleep in there as the two Mercedes still going at it on lap four. George Russell retakes the lead off the Grand Prix. We were just just trying to stay in touch with the top three. The two Mercedes, I think, were probably told to sort it and sort it out and calm it down a bit. They did stop as Valtteri Bottas in the Red Bull is pulling off to retire from the Grand Prix. He is out then. And now the two Mercedes, despite surely team orders coming into play, they're, they're on for the best result of the season. Lewis Hamilton looking for back-to-back -back wins so far this season. As here they go again, lap nine, Oscar Piastri is just enjoying this fight. They've absolutely left us around the outside. Guys, Lewis Hamilton he can't get his nose ahead, but he is ahead now. As he retakes the lead off the Grand Prix, now Piastri might be able to have a little go. As in the background, we've been caught once again. We had a poor exit, we've nearly been overtaken by our teammate Carlos Sainz, who was in a great position last night in Australia before he had engine trouble. And now, though, we've pushed him a bit, and Max Verstappen's on the outside, and Max goes sailing round the outside. And he's passed Carlos Sainz. And now he's looking at the back of us. We were kind of just keeping these, all of these out of jabbing distance. But eventually they broke the DRS as the soft tyres did start to go off. And now Alex Albon Williams is slowing down. He started on the front row here last season. 
and it's all gone wrong for him and he's slowing down and pulling over and is out and joins Bottas as his second retirement of the race. Now as we head into the chicane, we've run a little bit wide on the exit, we got right on top of that curb and now with that hasn't given us the best exit and Max Verstappen's taking full advantage, he's on the outside, we're going to break later, squeezing off his lead contact with Carlos Sainz and going into the final corner, Max just about keeps him behind surely there was contact there but now Max is going to be an absolute sitting duck as, as we head down towards the first corner Sainz on the outside tries to go around the outside of oh, Max turns in this contact it's a side pod two front wing between the two and does do they have damages now George Russell's coming back out of Lewis Hamilton this is a replay this was going on whilst we were watching the battle between Sainz and Verstappen but he's really taken the lead as George Russell this is a great battle for the lead we've been training to some great battles for the lead so far this season and I think Sainz did have damage from the contact with Max Verstappen because he started to drop back he's been done by Ocon and now he's been done by the Aston Martin of Teo Pucher round the outside the two Ferraris are in the party as well he must have front wing damage or, or something surely he's so unlucky so far this season there's another second race running he's looking at a good result and look he's just been absolutely done round Lando through there didn't even need to wait for the corner it's now Ocon He's caught the back of Max Verstappen and now he's going to go to the outside of Verstappen and is ahead of Verstappen just round the outside. That's how you overtake cleanly round the outside. That's a great move. As back to sides, he's continuing to go backwards and the Ferrari of Leclerc has got a great exit off of the final corner and now round the outside job done into turn one for him. Now as we come to the end of lap 14, Ocon we're starting to get, get a bit close to us but we are going to box for our one and only stop of the day, Ocon stayed out, Ocon he's on the soft so you're going to expect him in, in the next lap surely, we trundled down the pit lane and it's been a bit of an uneventful first stint for us, this little battle with Max but we've been able to keep him behind, it's great pit stop by the team, 2.6 seconds. Now hopefully they have found us a nice little gap to come out into then. Through goes to Haas. We're going to come out in a P17. Now we're going to have to clear these slow cars if we catch them up very quickly. As there is George Russell. He's on the mediums. And then Hamilton's down on the soft. So really... They needed Hamilton ahead did Mercedes in the early stages but so George is going longer so we need to keep an eye on that and now we have caught the slower Haas, Haas especially Williams as well gone backwards this season with side by side with pass Nick the freeze very easy move there next up is the Haas the other house of Kevin Magnussen who boxes so that's one car up one slow car out the way and the background for chair is coming out of the pits along with Charles Leclerc and his Ferrari and now we're all over the back of the Williams of Logan Sargent which kind of scared him off the track there made him run wide and got him at the inside no defence by him though he is in a totally different race to us is now George Russell pits for his one and only stop of the day and despite going longer on the mediums he's going on to the hards interesting strategy is through then goes Hamilton and Oscar Piastri so he's, get, he's lost a lot of time he's been jumped by the McLaren but those tyres should come back to him but very interesting there by by, McLaren, by Mercedes the Glowin have gone medium, I'm just Go saying this, with this, with Piastri, with best confirmation that he is on the hards, 
his jaw of wrestle and now I fancied my chances to try and catch him and get our first podium of the season. As now this is Carlos Sainz who is continuing to drop backwards after the contact. He's making his one and only stop of the race on lap 18. And now he trenches out the pit. He's got Liam Lawson behind the race winner from Bahrain and was nowhere. The rest of especially Australia and it's looking like a difficult race for him as well today. But, it's, but our race was a bit bit of a snooze fest at the minute. We didn't really have the pace despite George being on the rise to catch him and we did start to fall back into Pacher and it's something like when we were just looking up at Chapman distance. But Pacher takes P4 from us then into turn one we had no defence that Aston Martin is very quick in a straight line we nearly lose it though coming out of the final corner but that doesn't matter we've still got a good exit but we're overtaking them Pichel to retake P4 in the Grand Prix and we run a bit wide we run wide we put wheel on the grass Pichel now he's going to have an exit to get back down the inside we really squeeze into the inside and Esteban Ocon he's got the popcorn and he's waited for his opportunity and he's passed the Aston Martin he's lost two places there Pichel in one sector now is Esteban Ocon got the pace to try and overtake us for P4 it's now lap 28, he's going for it, he's Ocon down the inside into the chicane, he's got us. Fair play Ocon, you've done me there. And now into the hairpin. Can we get the exit? We're all over the back of him, we're going to go try and go around his outside, but we've run wide and invited Pacher through. He's nearly taken the charge, but we fend him off as we go on to the straight. Now, can we get past Ocon? We're on a lap of 29 now. We're right behind Ocon. Can we get him into turn one? We've got him before we even get to turn one. Great move. Can we start to pull away? Pacheco will really overtake. Did we overtake Ocon? We're on the final lap now and Ocon has started to drop back a bit and Pacheco has got one more opportunity to take P4 from us. He's gone down the inside. We hold the line round the outside. We then have the inside line for the next part of the chicane and it's job done. We stay ahead up front though. Lewis Hamilton after the great battle with his teammate in the opening stages of the Grand Prix is going to make it back to back wins this season and it's the second win of the season. It's a Mercedes 1-2 for the first time this season. Oscar Piastri picks up another podium and we are going to come home for back to back P4 finishes. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Tell me, Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations a real team victory today everyone played their part congratulations then to Mercedes your race winners today So that's been then 
your Grand Prix here at Imola. Mercedes won two, great battle between the two of them, but Lewis Hamilton out on top in the end. Did the strategy favour him a bit? He was starting on the softs. Interesting that George went to the hards, but he was able to catch and re-overtake Piastri in that second stint to retake P2. So was there a bit of strategy there to try and split them up a little bit because there was no team orders in the opening stages of the race. We didn't have the pace of the top three today. There's still some work to do with this car to get back fighting properly at the front. We had a great battle though with the two Frenchmen of Pacher and Ocon keeping them both behind in the end. Poor day for Carlos Sainz. It's not really his fault. He's caught up in another incident. Max just... It's a racing incident. No one's at fault. But it's a poor day for Sainz unfortunately. More points dropped just like last time out in Australia. Also, I think Max had damage as well. Max only finished in 10th, so maybe he suffered as well, but not as much as Sainz. And then there was two retirements then, that being Alex Albon, and very early on was Valtteri Bottas. So the Drivers' Championship now, and Lewis Hamilton leads the Drivers' World Championship by six points over Oscar Piastri. We are P3, 23 points back, and George is P4. Liam Lawson, after winning the first race of the season, is now P5. He hasn't scored a point since he won that race. Enzo Fittipaldi has jumped Carlos Sainz. They're all on zero points. Nick De Vries right at the bottom of the table. In terms of the constructors then, Mercedes jump to the top. And it's maybe very hard to knock them off if they're having race weekends like that. McLaren P2, Ferrari have jumped into P3, we've jumped into P4, AlphaTauri down to P5, Alpine getting a fairly decent amount of points today, P6, same with Aston Martin, Red Bull having an absolute stinker so far this season, only picking up one point today with Max finishing in P10 and then it's Alfa Romeo with seven points and Williams and Haas still yet to get off the mark. So that's been then your Grand Prix here at Imola, round three of the season. We go to the Principality in Monaco next. Goodbye.